Hey Legacy Traders, it's Tim Key with Option Legacy, helping you build a legacy through trading. In this quick and concise video, I want to break down for you guys how to set up your exit orders. How to set up your exit orders. So I will teach you in Legacy Trading course that we're going to use good till cancel orders to capture 50% of the profit received. And you'll know why once you go through module five and six inside of Legacy Trading course. So let's hop over into uh, Tastyworks and break down for you the step-by-step -step process on how to create a closing order. All right, guys, we're inside Tastyworks the platform that I use this will be very similar across platforms however it's gonna you know every platform has its slight variations however uh, I'll show for you an example inside of Tastyworks so first and foremost is I want to show you guys Tastyworks if you have this little yellow triangle or yellow ribbon if you want to call it next to it it means that you already have an opened or working order for that trade if it doesn't have that little yellow triangle, it means that you are still yet to set your working order or open order to capture your profits. So once you've put on a trade, in this example we're going to use BABA, I'm in a bull put spread inside of BABA. Let's say I put it on today. I put this trade on today. I didn't, but for this example we'll say we did. Once I put on this trade, I was in trading tab, da, da, da. my order got filled, I went over to activity, and I verified my filled order, and then I went into positions. Now I'm going to click on Baba that doesn't have the working order, and I'm going to set up my good till cancel order to capture 50% of the profit. So to do that, I'm going. it's going to open like this. I'm going to just simply click on them. It's going to make them lighter gray all the the positions that I want to close out I'm gonna right click and Tastyworks has it set up to where we can capture a profit automatically just by pushing this button so 50% is what I'm trying to ca capture of the credit that I received hit go you'll notice down here it automatically populates a price for me so 81 times 2 is 162 I bet you I took in about a dollar 62 credit here let's see I did so the way you can see that is under cost it says 162 and that's a green meaning I took it in so I took on a 162 credit and you can see under the trade tab that it automatically divided that by 50% the amount that I suggested and the order type is a net debit so since we took in a credit to open the order we sold to open we're now going to buy to close. We're going to debit ourselves to close. And the time in force is good till canceled. You would hit review and send. And if you're doing this after hours, this little window will come up. Say it will queue it for you, but it won't go through until market opens on the next day. You hit send. And it says working. Now to verify that it is working, you just want to come over here. Or you can come to activity and hit working. And you'll see that it's queued. So guys, that is all how you set it up. But let's say, hey, you can't find this closed 50% thing and you need to do it manually. This is what you're going to do. You're going to come and find this cost. Um, what is it? Column. If you can't find that, you need to come over here to accounts. This is how to do it manually. And you want to see under displayed you want to see costs if you don't have cost displayed here then come and find it in this and then just drag it over where are you so let's go and find it together oh, that's not what I wanted look for cost just drag it over boom cost is now in there and I like it right here you're gonna find this cost column and you're gonna divide that by the amount of contracts you have so I only have one contract in but let's say I had two this cost column would now go up to 162 times 2 it'd go up to 324 so I would take the cost of 324 divide it by the amount of contracts I have in, for an example let's say I had two so the cost says 324 and I had two contracts I would take 324 divide that by 2 that gives me the 162 and then I would take that and I'm trying to capture 50% of my profit, 50% of that credit. So times 0.5 equals 81. So then I could do it to do it manually. I've done my math. I'm gonna hit close position. 
come down here put 0.81 it's gonna be net debit and it's gonna be good till canceled I'd hit review and send it's gonna say that you already have a working order but if I didn't I'd be able to send the order so that's both how to do it um, with tastyworks platform where they automatically populate it for you it's also how to do it manually so guys I hope this adds value to you I'll see you on the other side